Hello YouTube, I am Zadok Z, and I'm here to bring you the best Dying Light content on YouTube in 180p. I've been excited to play this game all day. Went through work, went through school, and here I am, 6 p.m. EST, ready to play. Now I'm going to be doing this in hour increments episodes. Hopefully I might get a little carried away for the first episode here. Um... I haven't touched this game yet. This is the first time I'm playing it, so bear with me. It's going to be a little clunky with the controls, I'm sure. I'm excited to get into this uh, parkour mode. And I'm also excited to announce my plans for this series. Now, this is my new channel, brand new, and I want to bring you Daisy. I want to bring you Dying Light, especially. Um, I've been excited for this game since I heard about it. So, let's turn this down here. All right. So, um, what I'm excited to uh, hopefully get you guys in, I want to promote my channel a little bit uh, while rewarding those of you who support me. You helped me with my dream of becoming a big YouTuber and I'll make your dream playing this game come alive. For every 500 subscribers I get, I'll be giving away a copy of Dying Light. So share this with your friends. Share this with your grandmother. Share this with your parents. I don't care. Get me to 500 subscribers and you guys are going to benefit. Um, for every 100 su subscriber after 1,000, I'm going to be giving out a copy just the same up into 1,500. So I'll be giving away a total of seven copies of Dying Light. Now there is a time, time limit to this. If I don't reach 1,500, if I don't reach 500 subscribers by February 20th, then I can't give anything away, you know. I gotta watch my paychecks at this point. But, um, you know, every 500 subscriber up to 1,000, that's two giveaways. And then every 100 after that to 1,500, I'm going to be giving away. So that's that's seven copies total. It's worth dropping a like, it's drop with a subscribe, and it's worth dropping a share. And uh, without further ado, let's get into Dying Light and 180p resolution. We're going to be going with the campaign, new game here. Like I said, I haven't played a bit of this yet. I've only looked at the story a little bit, so it's going to be completely fresh. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Harad. Data on the subject, Kadir Suleiman, a local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. In 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. Alright guys, I guess that's our uh, objective. Right in the middle, huh? 
I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs. Then take him to rides. Uh. <laughs> Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! <laughs> oh, they're not going to be to breathe here. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't expecting it to uh, <laughs> start off like that, but that's good. Audio is a little loud. Audio is just a bit loud here. Turn that down. All right. Scared? Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie. <laughs> Run! I did get bit, though. I bet I'm immune. <laughs> Isn't that always a story? Right. Hello? Make some coffee? <laughs> Where the f Oh, F. Can't you see? <laughs> okay, we are joking around. Head to room 190. The boss agreed. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. All right. 31, that's your number. Excuse me? Your number. You're the 31st infected. On the 18th. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizen. One more new infected. One more runner gone. Okay. Or so we're infected? <laughs> I don't you die because of this guy? Quiet. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Room 190. Upstairs. Thanks, man. We're just getting picked off one by one. Yeah, this is gonna be like Dead Rising, isn't it, where I have to continuously get that antidote stuff or whatever. I'm 
him for the. Are you the boss? What? Am I too young? You got <laughs> with my age? No, I. You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know where you are? Yeah, I can. I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good. Because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antigen was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. <laughs> hey, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know my runners put their lives in danger for guys like you. So now you take the antigen meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore. So go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Whoa. Hey, be fair, I'm not, I'm not lazy, I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. All right. So, sounds to me I gotta go to the 13th floor. Oh, oh geez. I got some check for Lost Survivor yet. That's what I thought was gonna happen. All right, so where's the 13th floor? Let's see if we can find a weapon or something. It'd be good. Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's going to be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Maybe I could have that lead pipe. That'd be cool. All right, thirteenth floor. Here we come. That's right. We're gonna prove ourselves. <laughs> that was my idea. I'm glad we both have the same fucking idea here. Jesus, how many people died here? Enough. Hopefully, we won't be one of them. Hmm. That's uh, nice. <clears throat> Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. Hmm. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. Shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisem ASAP. Help! Help! Somebody! What the hell? There we go, lead pipe. All right, shift to run. I got that. I can't wait to try out this parkouring stuff, man. Ah, oh, fuck! All right. Is it really necessary? It's achievement, really? Come on, that was easy. I just ran into that. I gotta be a little more careful, I guess. Okay, so we're not going down there. I don't know how the loot system works or anything in this, so we're gonna have to find out. So, what's up my way? Mm -mm. All right. I guess we go this way. Wasn't I just here? Oh, and grab the ledge you're looking at. Okay. I have a feeling I'm supposed to. Maybe there was something I was supposed to do back there. Kind of confused.
Christ, I'm going in circles. Maybe I should use the mini map. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the mini. All right. All right. That's where we need to be. Jesus, you, you all right, man? I cut my arm getting away from him. No, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it. That was, that was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. Feel like he got bit. Is it the mark? Is it, is it safe down there? Yeah, so, safe enough now. There's only one zombie. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. All right, take care of Mark. What do I do? Hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss. You've got to find some goss. You and alcohol. Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. You. Please hurry. I stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. All right, so he's teaching me the... Uh... My survivor sense. Okay, that's interesting. I'll take that. What comes to worse? I can duct tape around his arm and stop some of the blood flow, right? I guess. Nails. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna use duct tape and nails. Patch him up. Don't you worry. You'll be fine, buddy. All right, nothing there. Survivor sense. That's interesting. Okay, so we're not getting in there, I guess. Need to find some alcohol, eh? Power cable. More nails. <laughs> ah, shit. More duct tape. Something on that side. Apparently I can sense things through walls. That's how that's how good I am. That's years of training. Tin can. I guess I guess just take everything, right? I don't know what it's made by Dead Island I, by the Dead Island guys, so probably don't really have that small limit. Nothing there. Alright, oh well. Gauze. All right, now we just gotta find some vodka or actual rubbing alcohol. But I mean, let's be honest, vodka would work just as well. More duct tape, Jesus. Duct tape's like the go-to. I hope we're not getting. I hope we're not being timed. This is like new, so I'm getting used to all this, you know? Okay. Metal parts. All right. It has to be in that little tiny part that I haven't explored yet. How do I get in there, though? Is this it? Is this a little tiny part? Okay, so there must be somewhere. Ah, the fridge damn it alcohol that looks like scotch give this a shot all right i tend to blueprints menu <clears throat> so we want so how do we do this blueprints there we go <clears throat> medkit one gauze one alcohol great Little craftsman. All right, cool, cool, bro. So we got it. Ow. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes in alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Take care of him from here. 
All right, you do your advanced magic on him. <sighs> All right. My name's Crane, bro. Talk to him, so I gotta go back up. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Sounds good to me. All right. Hopefully, we'll get out of the tower within this hour. That rhymed. That was nice. Charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, Never please. Say that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. You know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that the is gone. They're pushing the orphan card a little hard right now. <clears throat> I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah. You do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. Got it. <laughs> no explosives, Raheem. So she's attractive. I will just lay that out. All right, Raheem. Is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. What am I even wearing right now? Got some nice shoes, I guess. Well, yeah, it's this way. <laughs> this mini map's gonna be a useful tool. All right. Hint, this is your player stash. You can change clothes here as well as leave any items for storage as your survivor rank increases so you'll get access to new outfits. All right, fresh clothes. Changing. Cool, okay, so this is what I look like. That's nice. I guess I'll keep all this on me right now. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Jim? What are you talking about? It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. Oh, I get it. Okay. This is where I'm going to learn the parkour. It's going to be good. Um, nope. Okay. Thought maybe the elevator, but. Ah, stairway. All right, uh, what do you want me to Parkour basics. Press and hold space to jump and grab the ledge you're looking at. Remember to look at the edge you want to grab. You can perform this action while standing, walking, or running. Okay, all right. Cool. That's pretty simple then, I guess. Ah, shit. All right, never, <laughs> maybe not. Press and hold space. All right, I have to hold space. That's what I'm not doing. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, he knows my name. Falling wouldn't be good. 
<laughs> oh, this is where I was supposed to go. <laughs> I'm just getting higher. I was hoping I was roll. I would roll or something. That would have been cool. All right, what's up? Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. Hey. What do you mean, learn how to run? I think I got that down. Do what I say, right? Okay. Okay. Jump down to the very bottom. Um. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. <laughs> Shit. All right. You show me how it's done, bro. What? Raheem, my leg. Jesus, don't move. I'll get help. Ha. I was just fucking with you. Son of a bitch. What? You can't take a joke? Come on. Get your ass down here. Christ on a crutch. Fuck. All right. All right, man. Suicidal on this bitch. <laughs> Got another achievement for that? Jesus. Oh, trust me. I, I've got some good endurance. Alright. Let's see how you handle them. Um, where, okay, I was like, where is this? Ah, there we go. We made it, guys. We made it. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> ah, Jesus. What do we do now? Oh, okay. We fucked that one up. We'd be dead right now, guys. Okay, I'm not, I'm not a pro yet. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I'm shameless. Want me to do what? Okay. Ugh. Well, then I can't survive for 10 minutes. <laughs> no. Oh, this is sad. This is sad. I'm not gonna lie. This is sad. All right, try this again. That's what I was excited most for too. All right. Ah, I gotta. I gotta watch the arrows. As long as I don't have to hold space for this. Be golden. Alright. Hold W and space jump at and grab. F fuck. <sighs> Alright. Space jump crap. Alright. Alright, we got that. Not bad. It's kind of like Assassin's Creed. What? <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. 
Hmm. 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 All right, let's try that. It's a slow start, guys. Slow start. We'll, we'll get better. We'll get better. Pass the parkour test. All right, that's where I want to go. Okay. There we go. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Now, I could just edit this out and pretend like I'm really good at this, but I'm not that kind of guy. I'm a human. Oh, shit. No, not really. Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. If you think I'm good at this, that's that's fine, dude. I don't. Ah, fuck. Oh, that's not good. Not on the crane, man. Not, not on the crane. Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. This is not, not where you want that to go down. Come on. All right. All right. That was... Pum, 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 pum. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm, I'm turning? Most likely no. Let's check the time here. Seizures remind you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizin. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten. Cool. Well, what are you waiting for? All right. Because she's at the bottom here. It's ah, uh, excuse, elevator. The more weapons? No. I'm sure that there's not anything I can find here. I can't go down another floor. Did I miss elevator? No, it's it's a floor up, Jesus. <laughs> new layout, guys, new layout. Alright. Yeah. Alright, ground floor. Shit. All right, let's see what we can do here. Am I on max video settings? Let's find out, I should be. Yeah, I guess we, I guess so. All right. Oh, yeah. me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name to <laughs> oh. Okay. It's helpful. What's that? By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizin. By which I mean the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside. There's plenty of paranoia to go around. 
whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> oh, that's always nice. Oh, fuck. Alright, so I got a table leg. Mmm. That's good. Water pipe. Oh, we'll find you with free items each day. Make sure to visit him. Alright, so I guess we'll take these, right? Take. Take, take, take. Okay. Back. <clears throat> Let's see if we can p use these uh, nails with the metal pipe. Or the uh, the table leg, right? So these are equipped. I got nothing in my backpack. Where's that? Where did that? Nothing we can do with these. Punk queen, crowbar, the constable. <laughs> All right, wrench kiss. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. Well, I guess I have to find um blueprints to build things. So it's kind of like yeah, that's that's nice. Wouldn't mind one of those. It's really not how I would think of it, but. We're safe here, like stuff in a yeah. Where do I get? Let's pretend I go down this way. Yes. That's where the action is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, man. Do the best I can, you know. Hmm. Okay, Noob. We've got Dr. Zeta set up in a semi trailer on a fenced in plane court. When you leave the tower, gain a left and head due south. You can All right. it. It's Crane, kid. See how this works. Okay. Mm hmm. Man, I, d I guess it's a skill to jump over their faces or something. Hmm. Ah, shit. All right, never mind. We're not. We're not gonna fight them with this. This is not good. Wow, I'm actually not disappointed with the amount of zombies. I thought there was gonna be like. Honestly, I thought the hype for the number of zombies was like gonna be disappointing, but nah, that's pretty good. It's already like a. Sh I already feel like slightly overwhelmed. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Entering safe zone. I'm getting 45 frames per second here. That's not bad. Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here. Sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Guess the GRE could be. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right ah, now. See, that's, that was my hypothesis. It would be like rabies. That's good. Got that one. Definitely possible. Oh, shit. You really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, now, where did I put that injector? And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. 
We've been collaborating via radio. Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case, all right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. Sure. He seems forgetful. That's good. Brecken sent most of his best people to Brahim. Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not up to hold you for a while. Okay. Spike, not very far. In Crane. Just Spike. More unskilled labor. All right. Shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear, and such. The other kind is filled with antisem. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Okay. The trouble is, the airdrops with antisem keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. Dick. Without antisem, we're basically screwed. Mm -hmm. Rise and his boys only operate during the day. Because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight. And Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. <laughs> so send the new guy. Right well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now. Which I have. Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. Oh, okay. Right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Anderson, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. I probably will get in trouble, but... Okay, so hold or tap tab to change weapons. Uh, one? Okay. All right, so firecrackers. So can I... I'd like to hop by these. All right, this would be better to use. Mm, upgrade, repair, F6. How do I upgrade it? Let's, let's just explore this a little bit. Okay, you need a module, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure that will come in time. That will come in time. I'm going to select that. Okay. Yeah. Looting is the key survival. Search dead bodies, chests, abandoned cars, pieces of furniture, and even trash bins to find crafting components, weapons, and money. Press Q to use your survivor sense to identify objects you can loot. Search the environment for huge locked chests left by other survivors. They're usually placed on rooftops beyond the reach of zombies and contain weapons or other valuable things. Search dead body. Okay, I already saw that. Alright, close. That's, I guess sounds good. Is this what I wanted? So my water pipe, nope. I want this. Select. Swap. There. Okay, cool. I don't really understand how I would use the firecrackers, though, but... Aww. Uh. <laughs> Why 
Like I said, the mama zombies, I'm... I'm disappointed. There are a shitload of zombies in this game. Alright. I think I'm getting the, the hang of this. You have unspent skill points. Alright, how do I do that? Okay, it's dead. Cool. Ah, there we go. Let's find something good in here. Chemicals and coffee. Okay. All right, so my question is skills. There we go. All right, hint, you have skill points to spend. Select one of the skill trees to spend your points. All right. Um, we do survivor. Power level. I'm the agility tree allows you to outrun your opponents to increase your agility, lower, perform climbs, jumps, all right, so I suppose that um, I can only use my survivor one because that's what I upgrade it. Yeah. Okay, so view skill tree. Hint, survivor rank gives you access to supporting abilities, blueprints, and gadgets. To increase survivor rank, complete a quest to help other survivors, all right. So this is survival starter kit learn how to craft the most basic things needed for survival lock picks firecrackers simple throwing stars and molotov cocktails that's pretty good yes cool all right so we got that back you've learned to craft lock picks throwing star we can build one of the uh, no we can't we need string so look out for spring drink I'm glad that you only have to look at the ledge it's makes things a little easier batteries metal parts ah oh, didn't make it Yeah, and free running, once once you start running, you have a better flow of motion. So that makes sense, I guess. It's not a very effective weapon, I'll tell you that right now. All right. So we need to go this way. Okay, first the car. Open the hood, connect the battery, that'll arm the trap. All right, I just saw this in one of the trailers. Cool, got her done. Jake here. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. I am. Um, I'm outside, working for Spike. Help trap survivors in there this way. Yeah, man. Oh, I don't have to hold shift to run, guys. That's cool. That makes actually that'll make the free running a little easier. What's up, bro? Take a moment to appreciate the environment. Looks pretty cool. Come on, so these guys don't have arms. Ah, shit. Ah, sh Woo. <laughs> Shit. 
I am not disappointed at all. All right, how do I use these firecrackers, though? That's that's what I want to know. So let's look at the controls real quick, guys. This is something that I don't know. It didn't really tell me. Controls, configuration, keyboard, and mouse. No, we're not using. <laughs> I'm using keypad and mouse. Keybinds. There we go. All right, <clears throat> move forward, move back, toggle, crouch, crouch. <clears throat> Sprint toggle on, sprint, jump, uh, movement, actions, use equipment, uh, middle mouse button. Okay, so, yeah, middle mouse button would be that then, I, I guess. Aim, right mouse button, aim, toggle, reload, repair, I'm, I'm guessing middle mouse button would be to throw these. So let's, yep. Ah, oh, shit. I want to get to that car. Ah, oh, man, I can Thought I could arm it. Well, I just wasted those. I was in the trailer, so I thought I could do it to everyone, but... Alright. I must need an item. Sec. All right, sorry about that. All right. <clears throat> All right. This is where we got to go here. Can't believe I just wasted those. Oh, there's someone behind me. Pick a lot. Ah, fuck. How's lock picking work? A turn lock. There we go. Got her. That's pretty simple. Coffee. That was not worth it. Batteries. Okay, Jade. I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Chris. Oh, fuck. It's too late for this guy. All right. Finish it. Okay, it's done. Fuck. Gasp. No he wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn 230 V. Supposed to turn them on in there. <laughs> Shit. No, I was hoping I could do that. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we're doing here. Power to unlock the safe zone. That must be inside. Yeah, it was. <laughs> God. Why didn't he just do it while he was in here then? Even if he did get bitten. Seems dumb. Safe zone unlocked. Cool, so this is a safe zone now. Alright, that's interesting. Are they stay away from light or something? almost. Just give me a second. To move up and down poles. Alright. Oh, 
Like went into slow mo there. I didn't know what to do. What are you doing? All right, that's definitely like some kind of <laughs> glitchy thing. Still can't use that. I like how it's like just a million of these fans. Building roof. All right, got another lock. Come on, be a new weapon. There we go. Pipe wrench, that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm wrecking, man. All right, so we want to get onto this roof, huh? All right, what's up here? Ah. Crane here. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to stop it here. I don't want to make it too long. Um, thanks so much for watching my very first episode. If you liked, please like the video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be throwing out one of these hopefully every single day. And uh, like I said, there's going to be giveaways at 500. And every 100 after 1,000, I'm going to be giving away up to 1,500. So share, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, see you next time.